بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو کریٹیو ورلڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم سالونگ دی چیپٹر ون ایکسرسائز پرابلم ون پوائنٹ ون ٹو ون پوائنٹ ٹین ہیئر آر سم لسٹ آف فارمولاز وچ وی ول بی یوزنگ ان پروسیڈنگ پرابلمس پرابلم ون پوائنٹ ون اسٹیٹس ڈیٹ اف دا کرنٹ ان این الیکٹرک کنڈکٹر از ٹو پوائنٹ فور ایمپیئر ہاؤ مینی کالمز آف چارج پاس اینی پوائنٹ ان آ تھرٹی سیکنڈ انٹرول ہیئر دی ڈیٹا وچ از گیون ان پرابلم از کرنٹ وچ از ٹو پوائنٹ فور ایمپیئر ٹائم وچ از تھرٹی سیکنڈ وی نیڈ ٹو کیلکولیٹ دی چارج سو وی نو دی بیسک فارمولا آف چارج از کیو ایکول ٹو آئی ملٹی پلائی بائی ٹی ان ڈیٹا کرنٹ اینڈ ٹائم از گیون سو وی ول کیلکولیٹ چارج یوزنگ دس فارمولا چارج ایکول ٹو آئی ملٹی پلائی بائی ٹی وی ول پٹ بوتھ ویلیوز آف کرنٹ اینڈ ٹائم اینڈ دی چارج از سیونٹی ٹو کالمز ان نیکسٹ پرابلم it is asked to determine the time interval required for a 12 ampere battery charger to deliver 4800 coulomb current is given charge is given and we are required to find time same formula of charge will be utilized here to calculate time t equal to q divided by i and doing simple mathematic we got time equal to 400 second and if we divide it with 60 we will get time in minutes in third problem a lightning bolt carrying 30000 ampere last for 50 microseconds if the lightning strikes an airplane flying at 220000 feet what is the charge deposited on the plane here in this scenario the height of plan is just given for for confusing there is no utilization of this height in this scenario so current is 30000 ampere time is 50 microsecond and it is asked to calculate the charge same formula will be used q equal to i multiplied by t current multiplied by time its answer is 1.5 coulomb in fourth problem if a 12 volt battery delivers 100 joule in 5 second energy is given and time is given find the amount of charge delivered and the current produced two things we need to calculate charge and current for charge now uh, here the scenario is different because the voltage and energy is given with time and we need to calculate charge and current so firstly for charge we will use another formula which is basically the formula of voltage here for the calculation of charge we will use uh, voltage formula which is uh, energy per coulomb q equal to e the energy divided by voltage voltage is given and energy is given so the charge will be equal to 8.33 coulombs in the second part uh, it is asked to calculate the current for current we know the basic formula of current i equal to q divided by t and we have calculated charge in first part so we can use it to calculate current i equal to q divided by t and the current is 1.667 ampere problem 1.5 states that the current in a conductor is 1.5 ampere how many columns of charge pass any point in a time interval of 1.5 minutes now current is given and time is given in minutes so we need to calculate the charge but first we will be required to uh, convert time into seconds so q equal to i multiply by t i equal to 1.5 ampere and time is equal to 1.5 and for the conversion of minutes to second we have multiplied it with 60 and we got 135 coulombs in problem 1.6 uh, if 60 coulomb of charge pass through an electric conductor in 30 seconds determine the current in the conductor 
color uh, charge is given and time is given and calculate we need to calculate the current uh, we will use simple formula of current i equal to q divided by t i equal to charge is given and time is given so i will be 2 ampere in problem 1.7 determine the number of columns of charge produced by a 12 ampere charger in an hour and uh, now we need to calculate the charge while time and current is given but the time is given in hour so we will be required to convert into second so time is 12 ampere multiply by 1 hour and we have multiplied it with 60 to convert into minutes and then 60 to convert it into seconds the charge is 43 200 in problem 1.8 five columns of charge pass through the element in figure p 1.8 here it here it is the figure from point a to point b uh, five column charge is passing through point a to point b if the energy absorbed by the element is 120 joule determine the voltage across the element charge is given energy is given and we need to find out the voltage so we will use the voltage formula which is energy per unit charge so v equal to e divided by q and energy is 120 joule and q is 5 coulomb so it will be 24 volt in problem 1.9 the current enters an element is shown in figure 1.9 find the charge that enters the element in the time interval between 0 and 20 second the current graph is plotted between 0 to 20 second and we need to calculate the charge between 0 to 20 second firstly uh, 0 to 10 uh, the current is constant 10 milliampere so we can calculate the charge between this time interval uh, charge between 0 to 10 will be Q equal to I multiply by T and Q equal to 10 milliampere multiply by 10 second equal to 100 milli coulomb. For 10 to 20 the current is decreasing linearly so for this we will use the equation of line straight line to calculate this line equation and then we will solve it. I am using the straight line equation to calculate the equation of this line I have put it the value here and uh, found I into T equal to minus T plus 20 milliampere this is the equation of this line now for charge calculation I will use the other formula of charge here Q into T equal to I integral of I into T from time 1 to time 2 starting time to ending time I have replaced the value of it and by solving it uh, its integral will be minus t square divided by 2 and uh, 20 integral will be 20 t and both are associated with time limits by solving this doing simple mathematics we found q equal to 50 milli coulomb now we need to calculate the charge between 0 and 20 second so the this will be the addition of both charges here it is 100 milli coulomb and here it is 50 milli coulomb so it will be 150 milli coulomb charge in problem 1.10 uh, the charge entering the positive terminal of an element is minus 30 exponential power minus 40 if the voltage across the element is 120 exponential power minus 2t uh, determine the energy delivered to the element in the time interval between 0 and 50 millisecond charge is given energy we need to find out it for the time interval 0 to 50 millisecond and voltage is given for the calculation of time we used this formula and it is derived from the previous formula of charge calculation here when we take derivative on both sides so it became dq over dt equal to it by putting the values of charge in this formula 
वी गॉट माइनस थर्टी एक्सपोनेंशियल पावर माइनस फोर्टी इंटू माइनस फोर इट बिकेम वन ट्वेंटी एक्सपोनेंशियल पावर माइनस फोर्टी मिली एम्पेयर फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एनर्जी वी यूज दिस फार्मूला वी नो वोल्टेज वी नो करंट एंड वी कैन कैलकुलेट द एनर्जी फॉर अ गिवन टाइम इंटरवल सो प्लेसिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ वोल्टेज एंड करंट इन साइड इट वी गॉट फोर्टीन पॉइंट फोर डिवाइडेड बाई माइनस सिक्स एक्सपोनशियल पावर माइनस टिक्स सिक्सटी हेयर आई वुड लाइक टू रिकॉल डेट फॉर डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एक्सपोनशियल वी मल्टीप्लाई द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ इट्स पावर विद एक्सपोनशियल वैल्यू एंड इन इंटीग्रल वी डिवाइड द पावर ऑफ एक्सपोनशियल derivative with it uh, by putting the values of time in this equation we found energy equal to 0.621 joule or 621 milli joule thank you if you have any query you may ask in comment section i will answer you soon